Auto flight roll modes control airplane heading and the path the airplane flies over the earth. You select roll modes with these switches on the MCP. The roll modes are heading select, Vorloc, and LNAV. You control the roll mode with the MCP. with the navigation radios and with the FMC. The flight mode enunciation shows the roll mode. If an autopilot is engaged in command but no roll mode is engaged, the autopilot uses the default mode, CWS Roll. To change the default condition, you must select a roll mode. In this example, the FMA shows Command and CWS Roll. Push Heading Select to engage a roll mode. The default roll mode is replaced by Heading Select. The green box tells you that this is a new mode. The bank angle selector is the control behind the heading selector. The selector sets the maximum bank angle between 10 degrees and 30 degrees in 5 degree increments. Here a 25 degree bank angle limit is selected. The bank angle selector controls the maximum bank angle for only the heading select mode and VOR part of the Vorloc mode. In LNAV and in the localizer part of Vorloc, Bank limits are not changed by the bank angle selector. Turn the bank angle selector to change the maximum bank to 30 degrees. The bank angle limit is now set to 30 degrees. This limit applies only to the heading select mode and the VOR part of the Vorloc mode. The heading select mode is used to turn the airplane to the heading set and the heading display window on the MCP. When heading select is first engaged, the airplane turns in the shortest direction to the new heading. The FMA shows that heading select is engaged. When the turn is complete, the airplane holds the new heading. If heading select is already engaged and you set a new heading, the airplane turns the same direction as you turn the heading selector. If heading select is used to intercept a radio navigation course or an LNAV route, it disengages when the course or route is captured. Vorloc and LNAV are discussed later. To turn the airplane with heading select, set the new heading in the heading display window. Here, turn the heading selector to set a heading of 135. Push the heading select switch. Look at the FMA to see that Heading Select is engaged. The green letters show that Heading Select is engaged and the green box tells you that this is a new mode. The airplane starts to turn immediately. When the turn is completed, the airplane rolls wings level and holds the 135 heading. The Vorloc mode can intercept and follow a VOR radial or localizer course. The course selector sets the new course. The navigation radios send deviation and course data. The FCCs calculate rule commands to intercept and follow the course. And the autopilot obeys the rule commands.
If Autopilot A is engaged, the captain's course selector and the number one navigation receiver send VOR or localizer navigation data to FCCA. If Autopilot B is engaged, the first officer's course selector and number two navigation receiver send VOR or localizer navigation data to FCCB. To use Vorloc, tune the navigation radio frequency in the standby window and then transfer the frequency to the active window. Identify the navigation source. Turn the course selector to set a course of 324 degrees. In this example, the B autopilot is engaged so the first officer's course selector is used. Usually, the two course selectors are set to the same course. In this example, the captain's course selector was set for you. Now, push the Vorloc switch. Look at the flight mode enunciation. Vorloc in the small white letters below heading select shows that Vorloc is armed and that heading select stays engaged. At course intercept, Vorloc replaces heading select as the engaged mode and the airplane turns to follow the course. Usually, the heading is set to match the inbound course. LNAV follows the lateral route programmed into the FMC. If the airplane is more than three miles from the active route, LNAV engages only if the airplane is on a heading that intercepts the active route before the active waypoint at an intercept angle less than 90 degrees. When you push the LNAV switch and the airplane heading is satisfactory, the auto flight system intercepts and follows the active route. If the airplane is within three miles of an active route, LNAV can engage from all airplane headings. In this example, the airplane is more than three miles from the active route. Set an intercept heading that intercepts the route before the active waypoint and at an intercept angle of less than 90 degrees. Push LNAV. The FMA shows the auto flight system engaged in LNAV. The auto flight system turns the airplane and follows the active route after the airplane intercepts the active route.